Understanding, you're the one, a guide for English language learners. Hello, and welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, you're the one. This phrase is commonly used in English conversations, and understanding its nuances can really help in daily communication. Let's dive into what this phrase means and how you can use it effectively in your conversations. You're the one is a phrase that is rich in meaning. At its core, it's used to signify someone's importance or uniqueness in the speaker's life. It can convey a deep sense of affection, appreciation, or special connection. This phrase is often used in romantic contexts but can also be applied in friendships and close relationships. In this section, we'll look at different contexts where you're the one can be used. Romantic context. In romantic scenarios, you're the one often implies that the person is the most important or cherished individual in the speaker's life. It can suggest a deep romantic connection, almost like saying, you're the one for me. Friendship and family. Among friends or family, this phrase can express a strong bond or deep appreciation. It could mean, you're the one I trust, or you're the one I rely on. Professional setting. While less common, in professional settings, you're the one might be used to acknowledge someone's unique skills or contributions, like saying, you're the one who can solve this problem. To help you understand better, let's see some examples. 1. In all my life, I've never met anyone like you. You're the one I want to spend my life with. 2. When it comes to true friendship, you're the one I always think of. 3. For this project, you're the one who has the expertise we need. It's important to use, you're the one, in appropriate contexts. Avoid using it casually or without a genuine sense of importance, as it might confuse or mislead the listener about your intentions or feelings. I hope this video helps you understand the phrase, you're the one, and its various uses in English. Remember, language is not just about words but also about emotions and contexts. So, use this phrase thoughtfully. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more English learning content. See you in the next video.